don't understand. Is there anything in the notebook that I've overlooked? I followed every lead I could find, even the microscopic ones. I've hit nothing but dead ends. I need to take a break from this before I completely go off the rails. Need I remind you about the article that was due yesterday? I'm almost done with it. Then again, there's always calm before the storm. Ah. Oh. Enough corrections. It's already overdue. I'd rather grab the article and visit Sven before he visits me. Hey! I'm done with the article. Mm. What? The crime rate report. All done. Right, right. Just leave it there. I'll get to it when I get to it. Bad time? Depends. You in a helpful mood? What seems to be the issue, boss? I want to buy my, um, lady friend a piece of art as a gift. Lady friend, you say? Thing is, I'm not all that familiar with the art world. So you want me to go get a personal gift for somebody I don't know? That would be great. Thanks. I've seen the prices at the gallery. Their stuff must be good, right? I suppose. I'll pay you back afterward. What gave you the impression I'd tolerate you being late, Antoine? It's Anna, actually. Myers. I'm looking to buy a piece of art. Oh dear, your outfit. You're making this whole place look crooked. I'm sorry. No need to reply. I'm holding an art auction at 8 p.m., not a minute earlier or later. The event is invitation only. You learn yours through hard work. Two invitations, ma'am. Is my memory faulty? What? Is my memory faulty? No. So I haven't asked how many invitations you want, have I? You haven't. I'm glad we're finally on the same page. Bring me a box of bidding paddles from that mess over there. Yes, ma'am. Mind your posture. Reasonable people dislike slouches. Blind, dear. Put the box next to me. You are to take these invitations and arrive on time. Great! I found invitations. Bent or otherwise deformed invitations won't be accepted, naturally. Of course. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. The invitations visibly state that there are two organizers, in a font that's superior to most in terms of readability. Do you really think that I might be Antoine, dear? No, ma'am. And why is that? That's a man's name, ma'am. So, through the taxing endeavor of deductive reasoning, I must be. Marta Landolt. 
Read through your nose, dear. A lady should not sound like a dying walrus. Now, I've got matters to attend to. You'd be wise to change into something more symmetrical for the auction. This exchange got better by the end. I'll be off with you before you ruin it. Don't overstay your welcome, dear. It detracts from your likability. Don't overstay your welcome. What the hell just happened? Hold on. Is that Caroline? You look slightly better than the last time I saw you. Must be the yoga I've been doing. How have you been? Can't complain. Have you seen a plush toy around here? A plush toy? I've decided to give childhood a try. So, have you seen it? No, but I'll help you look for it. I found a plush toy. Any luck? Is this it? That's the one. Thanks. By the way, how's Manu doing? Ask him yourself. He's in the back street. I guess I could spare a minute to see a friend. Make an agreement. Hush. The man we just met, Leon. 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 We don't talk to Leon. He's a bad man. Playtime. <laughs> Looks like you've gathered quite a following. Somebody has to look after them. You seem to be doing all right, given the circumstances. Yeah, well... Who is this Leon? Should I report him to the police? No. Why are you standing all straight and funny? Oh, just working on my posture. Riveting. Well, I got to go. That was odd. Anyway, I should go and tell Sven about the auction. back too early. How so? You don't have a piece of art with you yet. I've got something better. The gallery is holding an art auction soon. I've got us two invites. We'll need to get our checkbooks. Mine's in my office. I'll have to find it. Why do you need your checkbook? I like art too, Sven. Who knows? I might get something as well. Give me a minute to finish up here. In the meantime, go grab your checkbook.
I found a checkbook. Got it. Back to Sven. Ready? Yeah, let's go. I'll meet you at the gallery entrance. Shall we? I've got a bad feeling about this. How did you get the invitations anyway? I helped out the new gallery owner, Marta. She gave me these as a reward. Marta? Marta Londolt? That's the one. The Antichrist has returned. I suddenly feel incredibly sick. I'm going home. Get me that piece of art. Thanks and bye. I'm not going in there alone. It's you who needs that piece of art. You're coming with me. I'm leaving as soon as I get something. Welcome to the auction. May I see your invitations? Welcome to the auction. Sven Lange. Marta Landolt, the old devouring. So you've started smoking again. You might want to invest in a better lighter. How did you know? The blisters on his finger line up like he uses his fingernail to sign autographs. Just an allergic reaction to pure evil. Sorry to intrude on your delightful banter, but how do you two know each other? We were married. And we will be again. I'd rather catch fire. Oh, there will be fire. Is this why you're back in town? I'm just here to claim what's mine. Before that, I've got an auction to run. There's one painting I'm certain your little girlfriend will enjoy, Sven. It'll make a great parting gift. Take this. Great! I found a bidding paddle. Good talk. I have so many questions. They're better left unanswered. How does she know about your girlfriend? Witchcraft or ritualistic sacrifice? Maybe a combination of both. The auction is starting. Your attention, please. Today we'll be auctioning off Anton Halter's art collection. Even though my partner for the evening, Antoine himself, couldn't make it. That's no reason to scrap the event, is it? So, without further ado, I invite you to prepare your bidding paddles. We'll be opening the auction with a gorgeous painting. This piece was envisioned and brought to life by Ricardo. Oh, oh my God. Right? Ricardo created this classical composition during the peak of his artistic ability. Given that he was one of the greatest painters of his time, you could say that this piece of art contains the essence of an entire period of cultural history. It's virtually impossible to put a price on that. Nevertheless, we're going to give it a try, shall we? The starting price is 500. We've got our first bid. 550. 700. 900. 1200. We've got 1,200. Will anyone go higher? 1,200. Going once, going twice. Sold to the lucky man in blue over there. Round of applause. The next work of art provides you with the opportunity to support local artists. Even though its creator prefers to keep their identity concealed. 
His work is very much in the public eye. If you haven't lost touch with your inner child, you'll certainly see the humorous mastery in this piece. Let's get the catfight over this piece started at 150. 400. You're not very good at bargaining, are you? I don't negotiate with terrorists. But that's just a poor financial decision. If I get to leave this place five seconds earlier, it's money well spent. Sold for 400. Congratulations to the gentleman over there. Give him a round of applause. Her stage persona is radically different. It's just one of her many faces. How did you two get together originally? Hypnosis, I think. Anyway, I've got what I've come for. I'm out of here. I must warn you, our next lot isn't for the faint-hearted. While the previous artist brings out the best of Zurich, the next creative endeavor reminds us of the worst of the city. This is more than just a painting of a woman. Is that you did? This is a relic of a tragic story that haunts Zurich. Both the author and the subject of the painting died at the hand of the infamous Dada Killer. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. I have to have this as a token of my respect for them. Raise your paddles to place your bids. Raise your paddles to place your bids. Two hundred. Three hundred. Five hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred and fifty. Eight hundred and fifty going once, twice. Thirteen hundred. Any advance on thirteen hundred? Give the lady a round of applause. She doesn't flinch in the face of death. Congratulations, miss. Allow me to take your check. Some of you might have already heard rumors... ...about our auction's big ticket item, our grand finale. And I let you in on a secret. The reality is sure to fully live up to your expectations. But don't just take my word for it. Instead... Is that blood? Take a look for yourselves! Oh. <gasps> what the... Marta, go call the police. Ask for Uli Reiter to get here now. No. Did you take a look at the hands? I did. I recognized the ring. It belongs to Antoine, my auction partner. No wonder he didn't show up. What's going on? A pair of severed hands were placed on one of the auction items. The blood's still fresh. It couldn't have happened more than an hour ago. This is Marta. She ran the auction and identified the hands based on the ring. His name's Antoine Halter. 
He was expected to attend the event. Looks like he was torn between going and not going. Let's check the envelope. A piece of paper and a card. I'll read the paper first. When wealth is earned in unjust ways, it's only a matter of time before karma strikes. It's time for Ah Ha to pay his dues. This man stole from all of us, therefore I invite the whole city to participate. Follow the clues and you'll find portions of his wealth and more. Don't worry, he won't be needing it. Some kind of psycho playing Robin Hood. What does the card say? The professional pretender said, I belong... Above you. I obliged. How did you know that? There are playing cards littering the streets. They all have the same phrase on them. So not only are we trying to catch the killer... We're also in a race with the whole city. If anybody else gets to it first, they'll ruin the evidence. Hana, this particular card looks different from the ones that have been scattered in the streets. I'll need to take that to forensics. Marta, right? Finally, someone with decent posture. Yes. Did you notice anything unusual prior to this? Nothing that would make me think murder. However, there are some circumstances I'd deem unusual. Like what? Well, firstly, I would never thought Antoine would sell his collection. Was this his whole collection? No, not even close. He sold a majority of it through regular means. Over the last two weeks or so, we put together the auction for things he didn't manage to sell in the normal fashion. He wanted it all gone, and he wanted it gone quickly. Anything else, officer? A lieutenant, Uri Leiter. The blood's fresh. Did you see anyone messing around? No. Any signs of a break-in? No, but Antoine had a set of keys to the gallery. The killer must have used them. Where were you storing this item before you brought it out on stage? In my office. I'll show you around, Lieutenant. All of the auction items were kept here? Right up to the moment they get wheeled up on stage, yes. Anna, let's see if we can find anything out of the ordinary. this bloody box. The killer must have used it to bring in the body parts unnoticed. I'll take that. Nothing else seems out of place. This will take a while. Get some rest. I'll keep you posted. I belong above you. Is the meaning here literal? Anna, you're stuck. Refresh and regroup first thing tomorrow. Above you, who is you? The professional pretender is an actor. Cabaret Russo.
I shouldn't take Ruben's painting with me. Hmm. Nowhere to hang it. The chair will do for now. Looks nice. Now, off to the cabaret. Can you do that? Of course. I'll get on it right away. Anna, hold on. Come into my office. Won't take long. It's urgent. Help me wrap this up. Urgent indeed. By the way, do you remember anything about someone storming out of the auction? I heard glass shatter and saw the door close. I didn't see the person. It happened right after I confirmed my bid. Hmm. Could be relevant. Mind if I take a photo of your painting before we wrap it? Anything to get this wrapped up faster. I'll be done before you know it. Can we start wrapping it? So, you haven't told me who the lucky lady is. Intentionally. I plan on keeping it that way. How are you going to navigate this love triangle? Marta seems interested. That's where we differ. I see no triangle to begin with. That's one way to look at it. Oh, by the way, I can't keep the gift in my office. I'll need you to hide it on your way out. I'll hide it in my filing cabinet. Take it whenever you need it. Great, I found a gift. Hmm, the painting is a bit large. I hope there's enough space in the filing cabinet. It's locked. The key's around here somewhere. I found a cabinet key. Good. Off to the cabaret. Anna, have you been getting strange threatening calls lately? I haven't. What do you mean by that? Well, I got a call from some woman. She was trying to scare me, I think. Hmm. You should probably report that to the police. I've got to run to the cabaret. Stay safe. I'm with the police. Are they here yet? I called them a while ago. They should be here shortly. What seems to be the issue? I came in and found the window had been smashed. Was anything stolen? Not that I've noticed yet. I'll take a look around. Hmm. I belong above you. Must be somewhere near the stage. Oh, God. I dread to think what's inside that bag. I should get it down. It 
it's tied tight. I need something to cut it open with. Have you seen that bag before? What bag? There's a bloodied bag behind the curtains. No, ma'am. I haven't seen it before. I'll need to borrow a knife. Have you got one lying around? Yes, you'll find it around here somewhere. I'd help, but I'm counting the cash register. Would rather not lose count. stabbed something oh my I uh, I'm gonna be sick this must be Antoine and a few stray banknotes whoever got to it first must have taken the money and bolted well it's all right here in front of me do you take me for a dimwit not in the slightest how much wealth is inside the bag? Not much at all. By the looks of it, somebody else got to it first and cashed out. The case has barely begun, and you've already been outpaced by some casual. That's just an assumption. You're screwing up this case at my expense, and I won't hesitate to sue. How is any of this at your expense? You didn't think I just ran the gallery, did you? I'm in charge here as well. Who has keys to the cabaret? Me, naturally. The bartender and the janitor. How is that relevant? There's evidence of a single break-in, but two unwelcome visits. One initially planted the bag. I'm glad. But don't expect the lieutenant to be convinced that easily. He's on his way here. The lieutenant is coming. Good. I've already got half the paperwork. You're awfully well prepared. These days you're either sprinting or falling behind. I'm not going to fall behind. Well, that makes two of us. By the way, one of the paintings that was auctioned was signed N. Hall. Do you know the artist? All I know is that they're local to Zurich. Marta, regarding the investigation, have you been keeping anything from us? You'll have to be more specific, Lieutenant Reiter. Glad you asked. Care to explain? I'm a business owner. Taking out loans comes with the territory. You've been approved for a loan recently, and... And I've cancelled my application. I'm not naive enough to invest at a time. Psychopaths cutting up bodies don't exactly bring people flocking to galleries. However, if that's what it takes to get you here... Let's get back to the case. The bag was tied above the stage. Another piece of a man's body... And just a few stray banknotes. So, somebody got to it first. They just took the money instead of the whole bag. The next clue! It's out! The boulevard! You go. I'll finish up here. We're not done here. All bark. But I'd rather a little bite as well. Aha. Uh -huh. You almost made it. Almost. Nua, take that down. Yes, Lieutenant. What do you think this means? I'm not sure. 
I'll take a photo, and then we'll have a look around. I found a drawing of Manu. Found anything? Nothing relevant. Thoughts on the clue? Where do we go from here? Hmm. We could check my map. That'll help us decide where to look. The expression, made it, fits the hospital. Almost could mean nearby. How about Utaki Street? After that whole thing with Oscar, those streets bumped their security even higher. Unlikely. I don't see how that location fits the context of the clue. What about the gallery? The killer already used both the gallery and the cabaret. Not likely. The police station? There are four patrols near the station. Let's cover more ground instead. Nothing there connects to the message. I think you're right. It must be near the hospital. Okay then. I'll meet you there. It belongs to me. Break uh. it up. What's going on here? I need two quick checkups before I take these boxers into custody. I need to register them first. Names, boys. Franz Dor. Natten Hall. Natten Hall? Why does that sound familiar? N. Hall! Don't let them go. One of these guys could be a breakthrough in the case. I'll keep these two under close watch. You go investigate the scene. Grab the bag before anyone gets to it. All right. I'll be right back.
I see you've got the bag. Good. Should we open it? It would be wiser to do that in forensics. We'd likely just create a bloody mess around here. You want to hold on to it until we get there? I've already got my hands full. You keep it. Hey, I can't find my wallet. It must be outside. Amma, could you go outside again and look for his wallet? On my way. I should look inside to make sure it's his. This doesn't look important. Some kind of photo? Looks like a business card. It has his signature on it. I guess it's true what they say about being a starving artist. Naten Hall. All right. It's his ID. No serious injuries. Miss, have you seen a wallet around here? Got it right here. I'll meet you in forensics. I've already taken the fighter's fingerprints, and I've locked them up for now. Let's take a look at the bag. I've made space on the table. You can place it over there. Let's see what's inside. Anna, will you do the honors? Another body part. Looks like a leg. And a small amount of money. We should collect a blood sample, just to be sure it's Antoine. Anna, please collect some blood using that cotton swab, and then place the sample in a test tube. We'll need a fingerprint kit to continue. Anna, could you find one?
fingerprint kit. Use the brush to apply some powder to the bag. Use the brush to apply some powder to the bag. Use the brush to apply some powder. Use the brush to apply. Good. Now, use the tape to copy over a print onto a piece of paper. Now, we've got prints from the cabaret and the hospital. And the guys that got into a fight. Right. Hana, care to compare the findings? Nart and Hull's prints appear on both bags. Sounds like we've got our killer. Hold on. There's a disconnect. The bags were initially full of Antoine's wealth. They've been emptied by the time we got to them. Nartin might have cashed in the cabaret bag, but... Somebody else got to the hospital bag first. All of us were too late. Nartin is too involved. That's rarely the case with an innocent man. But you rarely profit from involving yourself in somebody else's murder. In this case, you do. And generously. Nartin's involvement doesn't make him a murderer. It doesn't make him innocent either. Right. So we're not done here. For example, why would the killer distribute the wealth and then try to reclaim it? To make themselves seem innocent. But that's such a huge risk. Why not just keep the wealth and... Avoid so much potential for mistakes. If all the money's in one place, it's easy to trace. However, in this case, we neither know the size of the portions of cash, nor who found them. It makes following the money a waste of time. So, we either find the finders, or they are keepers. Right. Or maybe we already did, if it's actually not him. Anna, walk with me. We're going to talk to him in prison. Before we go, Dirk, can I ask for a photo of Antoine? Sure. I've got a copy right here. Great. I found a photo of Antoine. It's not what it looks like. Enlighten me. What does it look like? Whatever you think I did, I didn't. So you didn't break into the cabaret? Uh, so, uh, oh. Anna, do you have any questions? I do. While fighting at the hospital, you shouted, It belongs to me. Why? Antoine bought my art in bulk. I gave him abysmally low prices. Now, he's selling the same paintings at 30 times the price. So, from your perspective, some of Antoine's wealth is indeed yours to take. Strictly from a moral standpoint, yes, but I didn't harm the man. I'm afraid that's not enough to prove your innocence, Snartan. What happened at the cabaret? 
I got in through the window, which had already been smashed, and I found the bag. But there were only body parts inside. Why'd you tie it up again? Figured I'd have an edge on the next clue if... More people were still out looking for the first one. In that case, why not just take the bag with you? I'm not going to carry around bits of human just to get a slight lead in a goddamn lottery. I'm not meant to. But you're mental enough to sling it back over a beam like a bloody stage light? I have no issue staying here until you sort this thing out. But I'm not your culprit. Oh, we'll sort it out, all right. Come on, Anna. Miss? Wait. As the lieutenant said, we'll get to the bottom of this. If you're innocent, you'll walk free. I might have some important information to achieve just that. And you only remembered it just now? I can tell you're not a cop. If we keep the police out of it, it's much more likely to work. And you trust me not to tell them? I'm in a tight spot. I'm making the best move I can think of. What do you know? There's a place where I reckon you'll be able to get some answers. But it's pretty exclusive. Today, after midnight, ask the cabaret bartender if you can enter the König der Vereine. Then he won't let you in. And that helps us how? Hold on, hold on. So, he won't let you in, but you'll pull out a black card. And you'll be in. How do I get one of those? All I know is Iris Kniff used to distribute them. I used to make the cards for her, but I never kept one. I might know someone who could help. Oh, and take your wallet with you. Um... Okay. Unfortunately, I have to speak to Marta at the gallery. How can I help you incriminate me? I've got a promising lead. Your name would be cleared. And yet, you're here? I need your help getting into the Koenig der Vereine. That place is beyond my authority for now. Don't you own the place? It's a separate entity from the cabaret. Iris used to distribute the black cards. Did she leave any behind? I would have mentioned that, obviously. However, there's a drawer in Iris's old office that I couldn't open. It's locked. There could be a black card there. My office? Enough mucking about. What disgraceful method are you going to employ? Lock picking? I've got some experience with that, but... Of course you do. Let's check around for the key before we start breaking locks. A little key.
So, Miss Detective, got anything to show me? Got one. Give it a twist. You think I haven't tried this key before? <laughs> Take these lockpicks. I've no use for thieves' tools. Why do you have lockpicks anyway? Stay focused on what you're here for. Nobody likes a lady who doesn't mind her own business. Go on, let's see if you're any good at those. Great, I found lockpicks. Well, great. I found a list of names. No card. We've got the next best thing, though. A list of names titled the Koenig der Vereine. Must be the members list. And there's a name I know on it. Thanks for your help. I need to go see Sven. Tell Sven to see me at the cabaret. I'd like to make a peace offering of sorts. I'll give back an important item I took from him in the divorce. What item? Don't be nosy. That doesn't impress people. Right. I'll pass it on. Push the door and give it some force. The door's stuck. Push harder. What's wrong with your door? Ah, that old lock is all worn out. Or maybe someone tried getting inside. Doubt it. What brings you here? I need your help with the investigation. How? I'd like to borrow your black card. What makes you think I have one? I found a list of names, and I believe everybody on it has one. Show me the list. I have one at home. I'll bring it tomorrow. I really need it today. I can do that for you, but it'll take a while. In the meantime, write me an article about Antoine's treasure hunt. There have been reports of street fights breaking out over it. There was one near the hospital. And one on Utoki Street. I saw the hospital fight. I just need to visit Utoki. You do that. Oh, and uh, Marta wants you to go see her. Tell her I'm busy. She mentioned an important item related to the divorce. She wants you to have it as a peace offering of sorts. Oh, where should I meet her? The cabaret. I'll swing by tomorrow. Thanks.
Wait, I found a crumpled card. I've got everything I need for the article. Back to the office. I should attach the crumpled playing card I found. Which photo should I use? All done. It's almost midnight. I ought to get going. I almost forgot. Nartin mentioned I'd need my wallet. It's somewhere in my office. a wallet. Good evening. We're closed, ma'am. I'm here for the Koenig der Vereine. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. I've got a card. Let's see it. You sure about this? I am. <laughs> Consider yourself warned. Follow me. Luck. Fresh meat. What do we have here? Cozy place you've got here. That's one way to describe it. I've got a few questions. Glad I brought my wallet with me. I'm sure you can do better than that. You're not here to play cards, are you? No. A man's in trouble, and I'm trying to figure out what happened. I was told I'd find answers here. Who's the man? Antoine Halter. Rings a bell? Maybe. When did you last see him? Around two weeks back. He's usually in here two or three times a week. Any idea why his behavior changed? Don't know. Maybe his massive losing streak had something to do with it. Does anyone here hold a grudge against him? It's a gambling den. What do you think? He's a shark. Wins a lot. 
Everyone here could have wanted him out, but he's been showering these guys in gold lately. Right. It doesn't make sense to get rid of an opponent who's on a losing streak. He used to be really good, though. Occasionally, he'd get drunk and tell me this one story. How he won some idiot's home a few years ago. I see. Would you mind if I took a look around here? We've been through this. Hmm. I should check the stock. You looking at me? Nope. Come here. I'll give you something to look at. I'm good, thanks. Great! I found a photo of gambling men. Isn't that Antoine in that photo? I should compare it to the portrait I got from Dirk. Yep, that's him. I think I've got everything I can from this place. Hey, lady. You gonna play? Or should we just rob you? I was just leaving. Appreciate the invite, though. That's my cue to leave. Hey! Seriously! Get lost! Oh, I'll get lost, all right. But first, cough up the goods. So you can gamble it away, you degenerate scum? Watch your mouth or I'll carve it up real nice for you. Drop the knife, scum! What the hell? Drop it! Get back to your nest, you damn rat! Manu! What were you doing in there? You've been spying on me? Just following an instinct. What are you talking about? That place you've just been to. What about it? If you have any sense, you'll never go there again. Why? People lose more than just pocket change there. So much more. Those animals will take you for everything you've got. Manu, I wasn't there to gamble. Let me see your black card. I don't have it. I must have dropped it when I was shuffling through my wallet. It must be around here somewhere. Great. I found a black card. Did you find it? I'd like to take a look at it. Got it here. Why'd you do that? Consider it a favor. A favor? You... Oh, rat! Go get some rest. That 
damned Manu. Good morning. The office is filling up. Sven must be in already. I should tell him about his black card. But first, I'd better grab something that he might accept as an apology. There's a box of cigars stashed somewhere. I found a box of cigars. I knew they'd come in handy someday. Time to see Sven. Anna, did you do this? Do what? Place a romantic gift on my desk. I'm sorry, but I don't feel that way about you. I know. That's not what I meant. The gift's a cruel prank. How so? Well, me and Sp Um... I came in later than usual, and my colleagues saw the gift on my desk. Now they might think I'm taken, or I'm cheating. Are you dating someone from the office? No. Then it's not really cheating, is it? Yes, not, but... Why would anyone want to do this to me? Maybe they're interested in you. The card says, thanks for last night. It's signed by a guy called Bruno. I don't know a Bruno. And I went straight home after work. Could you please figure out what's going on? All right, but I need to go see Sven first about a different matter. Thanks, Anna. You're a godsend. I hid it in the closet. You'll find it there. Is there any difference between cynicism and wisdom? Hmm. I've never thought of a cynical person as wise. Why do you ask? Forget it. Got my card. About that. I lost it. Sorry. Well, at least you're here to tell the truth. That's okay. I only used it once anyway. After that, I only ever used it as a conversation starter whenever I had guests over. I'm guessing something unusual happened on your only visit there. You could say that. We were playing poker when this scruffy-looking guy barged in. He accused Antoine of cheating. <clears throat> A fight broke out. The scruffy guy got beat up and thrown out. The kid witnessed it all. Did he bring his kid with him? Well, there was a kid with him. Hmm. Is the scruffy guy in this photo, by any chance? It's been a while. My memory's a bit foggy. But what the heck, I'll give it a try. Hmm. I'm sorry I don't see him. That's okay. Also, I've brought you some compensation for the card. You didn't have to, but thanks. So what's your next move on the case? Not sure. I need time to think. I'll go take care of something else now. Anna, don't forget to grab this scene from the closet.
Great, I found a gift. I'll owe you a big favor for this, Anna. All right. Let's take a look at Hilda's item. I should sit down. Now to put Hilda's item on the table. What clues can I get from this? It's handwritten. I could identify the author from this. I should take the card with me. Where have I seen this pattern before? This flower seems familiar. Looks like Marta just became the prime suspect. Marta mentioned that Sven would find her at the cabaret. I can use that as an opportunity. I should go to the gallery and find a document that was handwritten by her. If it matches the note, I'll have enough evidence to confront her. Psst, Anna. Any progress on the thing? I'm working on it. Thank you. Marta must have something written down in her office. It's locked. Maybe I'll find something in here. Marta's check. This will do. Now I need to compare Bruno's handwriting with Marta's. Should probably do that in my car before I get caught snooping. Okay, let's see. Here's the first defect. Another defect. Aha! One more defect. Another defect. A 
Aha! One more defect. The good news is we've got a match. The bad news is that I'll need to confront Marta about it. Cabaret, here I come. Hi. I came to talk to you about... Antoine, I'm not stupid, dear. Get to the point. Actually, it's about something else. Take a look at this. What are you accusing me of here, exactly? I think you're trying to sabotage a relationship, and it's not yours to sabotage. Oh, well. It's a shame you've got no evidence of that. So be it. It's just your word against mine. That's where you're wrong. It's Hilda's word against mine. Who do you think you'll believe? A successful, high-achieving, well-respected lady? Who volunteered to give him a generous gift to make amends? Or a useless, blabbering, cheating woman in a dead-end job. That's a pretty convincing argument. I have a proposition. I take that peace offering of yours, and I don't take action against you. Oh, let me get that for you. Careful! It's fragile! Enough. Anna, let's go. We're leaving. Where did the peace offering land? I'll take a look around. I found a peace offering. I've got it! Thanks. She kind of 
lost it in there. Can I trust you to keep the things you've learned about me secret? Of course. Thanks. Now I need to give someone an apology. I'll see you later. See you. I think I owe someone an apology as well. Here. I should look for clues as to where he is. I found Manu's notes. Shrier. I know I've seen that name before. Maybe it was on the black card list. I should get to Sven before he gets rid of it. It's not on his desk. The trash bin is full. I should go through it. Trash. More trash. What's this? Sven's private business. Surely the list is here somewhere. Come on. Where is it? Some candy wrappers. Bingo! We don't? He's a bad man. The professional pretender said, I belong... Above you. He won some idiot's home a few years ago. He accused Antoine of cheating. People lose more than just pocket change there. So much more. I need to call Uli. I was about to call you about the new lead. I've solved the case. Have you? We need to find Manu. He did it? No, but he's our best chance of finding the killer. Care to explain? Let's meet up in the back street. I'll explain once we're there. All right. We should hide and wait for Manu to return. What makes you certain he'll return? I'm not certain, but we've not got any other options. Mind telling me what's going on while we wait? Okay, so...
That girl. She's one of the kids Manu takes care of. Let's follow her. Stay close. Are they breaking into the bakery? There's Manu working the lock. <gasps> Police! Get him! Let me handle this. I understand it's hard to fall asleep on an empty stomach. More so for children. Let me help instead of resort. At such a late hour? I doubt it. There are food rations that are meant for the prisoners in the police station behind the forensics lab. Hmm. All right, we'll go get them. Uli, you okay staying here? Yeah, I'll keep them busy. Manu, meet me inside the police station. Let's sneak by, just in case. We'll be heading towards the forensics lab. Let's look around for the food and milk rations.
Great! I found a milk crate. I found the food. I've got the milk. Let's head back. Oh. Gather up! You took him here for a reason. It's Leon, isn't it? How do you know? I saw something in the forensics lab. Put two and two together. We need your help finding him. Uncle Leon took me in after my parents died. He kept taking things out of our home, one after another. Returning home late, drunk, and empty-handed. He was gambling. Yeah, well... One night, he came back with some... Leon handed our house keys to that man. We got kicked out. We left everything behind, including my favorite toy. It was this golden puzzle that looked like a globe. I learned to lockpick on it. At the time, I didn't think lockpicking would be a skill I'd find useful. We lived on the street for a while, but... Later, Leon found out that the man had cheated his way into winning our home. He couldn't let it go and move on. He became obsessed. Leon dragged me into that gambling den. He got beat up and thrown out. That's when I cut all ties with him and decided to live on my own. Recently, Antoine was going bankrupt. So after years of not letting things go, Leon knew he either had to get his... Do you have any idea where we could find Leon? I'm not sure. We'd get up on one of the roofs nearby. No matter what the problem was, we would always get an answer up there. If Leon's not there, I don't know where else he could be. Could you show us which building you're talking about? All right. It's on the boulevard. Can you see the building from here? It's that one. Let's move. Is greed about having more yourself, or others having less? It's important to figure that out, because I'm either greedy or righteous, you know? If I'm greedy, I give into a hateful, obsessive compulsion, which is far from ideal. Whether the means were acceptable is a whole other question. You broke the rules first. I won that game. If anything, we're both at fault here. Excuse my manners, I got lost in thought. Smoke? Suit yourself. There must be some kind of way out of here. God damn it! What are you doing here? We know what happened, Leon. We know about Antoine and what you've done. And I don't think you've divided up Antoine's wealth. You faked the treasure hunt to fool the police. Who is she? A friend. You've got to turn yourself in. That's not happening, kiddo. I'm leaving. Mano, you can come with me and start a new life. I've got enough for both of us. I'm not going anywhere with you. Neither are you, Leon. We're not letting you through. Then I have no other choice. Resist. I grew up with my arms wrapped around this thing. I wanted Leon gone from my life, but now he's gone completely. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You mentioned that there was a way to uh, unlock the globe? Yeah. You work the two locks on either side of it at the same time. 
I remember the first time Leon and I managed to unlock it. Think we could try unlocking it now? Might as well. As I said, there are two locks. I'll work on the one that's engraved with an M. This side's marked L for Leon, right? Yeah, you take his side. I'll talk you through it. I never meant to gamble your life away. What to do with the money? I don't need it. I think you know someone who does. <sighs> Did you destroy it? I did. I honestly hope that's true. For the sake of your and Anna's lives, keep her off our backs. You can trust a policeman. <laughs> 